<laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. It is Jessica from Expressions Vinyl, and it is Vinyl Friday. Who's excited that it's Friday? I'm super excited. Um, I'm not at work today, so my background's a little different. Carla is on the camera, and Starla is back at Expressions Vinyl um, on comments, so thanks to her for that. And thanks to Carl for filming. Um, Vinyl Friday. Today we are going to talk about all things glitter. And specifically Glitter HTV. And more specifically um, translucent glitter. Where's my colors at? Here they are. No, where are they at? Okay, these two colors right here is what we're going to be talking mostly about. So it's translucent orange and translucent pink. They do some really fun stuff. Um... They can do some really funky stuff if you don't know about them. So, do we have people joining us yet? Okay. I do. I'm going to go in and fix the description really quick because I wanted to put a link in there. Um, so, tell me you guys' plans for Friday. What are you guys doing today? Besides being on Facebook. Oh, yay. Okay. And I'm going to try and watch your comments here. But if you have questions while we're going... Just ask them and Carl will either shout them out or I will look over here and see them too. And I gotta grab a little link here. Do we have anybody saying what they're doing yet today? Uh, Jackie is making shirts. Oh, nice. That sounds um, like a good Friday. Somebody's heading to the beach. Pool Ooh. day, painting. Ooh. Finishing tumbler cup orders. Nice. You guys know how to... Have a good Friday. Working. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully when you get off work, it will be a better Friday. So, oh, where's my edit? Um, Jessica's going to color her hair Oh, that purple. sounds good. She's going to color her hair purple. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> um, I would like to see a picture of that when you're done. <laughs> okay. I love crafting with glitter HTV. Okay, so um, I've been complaining about Idaho, how cold it is in Idaho for so long. It's June and I was wearing like a sweater last week, but now we're in Nevada and yesterday we ran to Vegas and it was a hundred and, was it a hundred degrees? Like a hundred and five, it was so hot. So I can't complain about the cold. It was really nice though, I loved it. And here it's like 100, so I'm enjoying. All right, let's get started with our glitter. Okay, so um, Glitter HTV comes in all of these colors. There's like so many. We'll have to get a close-up on those in a minute. But the, these translucent ones, I'm not even showing glitter. <laughs> these colors, I had the wrong sample kit. It comes in all of these colors, even more than those. So lots of pretty fun colors. But there is two colors, translucent orange and translucent pink, that can go a little funky. So I want to show you what we're dealing with. So this is what the pink looks like. And this is what the orange looks like. Okay, so you can tell from the name, translucent. Uh, it's a little bit see-through. None of the other glitters are like this. So, and as you can see, glitter is super easy to weed. Can you see this down here? So I cut this with my silhouette machine. I cut it, um, my blade was on a five. Pressure was on like a 15. And then speed like a five or six. So you do have to get your cut settings just right. Um, glitter is really forgiving. And I can just cut that fast so it looks like this is cut off it is supposed to be like that so i have a question can you use translucent on stainless steel and still see it stainless steel um so this is heat transfer and you could put on stainless steel but it's not like the recommended because it need like heat transfer likes a, a cloth like a material uh cotton polyester cotton poly blends so I haven't tried it on stainless steel. I have put it on cups and stuff before. Um, I assume it would stick 
just with hand washing, but that's not really its intended purpose. So I make no guarantees. Do you have any opinions about that, Carl? Stainless uh, still? I, I agree with what you said. Okay. <laughs> it might work. Yeah, there is some transparent glitters um, that you could put on stainless steel. It'll depend on the color that it is, the glitter is, um, if how well you're gonna see it or not. So this does some funky things because it is translucent and you can see through it. We have a few people and my niece was one of them. She was making some sweats and she put the pink on and it did something crazy. And sometimes it's a good crazy and sometimes it's a not wanted crazy. So let me turn this up a little bit and I'm going to show you exactly right now what it does. Any more people got fun plans for Friday? No. Okay. <laughs> you can scroll back up, but it might mess up the video. So, okay. So I want to show you something else with the glitter up close you can see on this carrier sheet there's little tiny specks of glitter left now those are not going to stick to your shirt because they don't have the adhesive this is the only part that has the adhesive but if you're layering if you're layering with easy weed or some other material i know brick picks it up really well it can embed in that so be really careful when you're layering you either want to do your glitter first and take off that carrier sheet as quickly as you can or trim it as closely as you can so you don't get much glitter around. Oh, this is sticky and these scissors are having a rough time. Elizabeth is going to clean her house. Oh, that sounds nice, but not fun. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have glitter on sale this week if you guys need some. I'm working with the heat transfer today, but it's not just for the heat transfer that's on sale. It's all glitter, so the adhesive as well. And Carl's gonna show you the code. Glitter everywhere is the code. It will give you 20% off. That's a good one. So if you guys are new to Expressions Vinyl, we've had a, new, a lot of new people lately, and we're so close to, what was our number, 189, I think? We're so close. So if you have friends that are interested in heat transfer, share this with them so we can get up there. Um, so if you're new to Expressions Vinyl, on Fridays we do Vinyl Friday. We do live crafting and we show you tips and tricks with that. On Tuesdays we tell you all the news. We tell you what's on sale, what's new, and what's going on. On Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, we do Will It Stick Wednesday. So we have random things. Um, Starla put it on a cooler once. We just try random different things to see if vinyl will stick to it. Um, if you guys have suggestions for that, let us know. And then Thursdays, we put out two new patterns. Um, Fridays, every other Friday. So if we did a Willistic Wednesday, we'll skip the Friday and do it the next week. So every other Friday we do Final Friday, which we're crafting live and we never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so Patricia says, I wish I could remember which brand of glitter iron-on I used because the glitter on the carrier sheet did transfer. Oh, it did. Okay. It does depend on what you have going on underneath it. So if you're putting it on a shirt, it's not going to stick to the shirt. But if you're layering it with other products, it could embed in those other products and stick. So that is, it does depend on what you're putting on underneath it. Okay. So you guys, I have this awesome little board, Starla had cut for a shelf, but I want to show you because I'm today I'm going to use a home iron. So let's go over to this guy for a second. Patricia says it was canvas. Oh, it will stick. Uh, was your? It will depend on if your canvas was painted because it can embed in that paint as well. What happens is the glitter you're ironing on, so your paint is heating up and getting soft and tacky, and that glitter can just adhere to that like glue. So, okay. So today I'm using a home iron to do my heat transfer with, and I want to talk about this a little bit. So I've got this ironing board here. I'm not going to use it. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to use it. So pretend this is set up like normal. It still like will give and kind of compress a little bit. And I'm not going to get a nice solid flat surface for that vinyl to stick to my shirt. And this one also like, you can't really see it in the video, but it has some ridges that's going to mess up my press as well. So that's why I'm using 
this just flat board. You can use anything that's heat resistant. I'm also going to use a pillow and that is going to help my seams because my seams need something to stick into, like to sink in, into while I'm ironing. So I've got my pillow, gives it something to sink into and then my nice solid surface that I'm not gonna mess up with my iron. So the, the pillow does create some give, but it gives it the, it's the right give in the right places. It, right. It creates a nice even pressure everywhere it needs to be. Right, so this, the ironing board will give a little bit, but not in the right places, not like a nice even give. So that's why I'm using a pillow on a board. I've got my iron, I have no water in my iron. That's very important, you do not want steam. So I've got no water in my iron, and then I have it set to like, just under the cotton setting. Now, I'm not at the warehouse. At the warehouse, I have an infrared thermometer. It's just this little laser thermometer that will um, tell you the temperature of things that get hot. So it goes up really high. So with heat transfer glitter, you want it to be at like 325 for 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, Easy Weed is 305. So glitter is a little more forgiving. You don't want to overheat it because that can damage the adhesive. But I'm just going to give this a good press first to get all that moisture out that may have gotten in during shipping or during transporting. Like if it's coming from a different part of the country that's really humid and I'm in a part of the country that's super dry. So I'm just going to get all that moisture out so I don't have any shrinking going on. So how many of you guys out there do use a home iron for your heat transfer? Just curious. Heat presses are more and more popular and they're definitely easier, but they're also an investment. So we, I love Caesar because you can use it with a home iron. Okay, so I wanna make sure I'm under that board and I'm on this. And I've got our glitter all weeded out. Okay, this is where it's gonna get crazy. Are you guys excited? It's like a magic trick. Okay, so we've got pink. This whole piece is pink, right? And we've got the orange, the whole piece is orange. And I did this in two separate things so you guys could see what both the colors do. So, I'm gonna get this. So it's covering the white and the black. And I'm gonna do that one first. Okay, and I'm not gonna iron like normal. I'm not gonna move it all around. I'm gonna set my iron down and I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna give it some pressure for about five seconds. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over to this other side and do the same thing. So we have several people who say they've started with an iron but now have some kind of press. Nice. Okay. Can you get up close to this? See how it's a different color over there? And I can tell it's not stuck right there because it didn't change color all the way. So this is where the translucent part comes in. It's translucent, so it's picking up those colors from the back. So this is what my niece did. She put it on a pair of black sweats and then she's like, uh, it totally went orange on me. Why did it do that? So because that, because it is translucent, it's picking up those back colors. So on the white, it looks great and normal. And on the black, it changes to orange. So let's try the orange. And I wanna show you guys what this does. So it can be a really fun color because you can mix and match um, colors. I gotta cover this up now. So. I didn't have a cover sheet when I did my first press because that clear carrier sheet was covering everything. But now I have some raw vinyl here that doesn't have that carrier sheet on it. I'm gonna need to cover that up. I have no idea what my dogs are barking about. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm gonna press this for about five seconds. And that means the pink now has had 10 seconds of press because I'm going over it again. And we're gonna go over, I'm, I'm gonna take off that carrier sheet and go over the whole thing. 
So that's why I'm not doing each part for the full time. Okay, we're gonna take that off. And you guys can see how it changed the orange on the black and the white. So it, it actually makes this look like it's the same color. How tricky is that? So this is a really fun project, but that is something like we have customer service. We have people call in and they're like, my vinyl totally changed colors. This is only going to happen with those translucent colors. It's not gonna happen with these other colors because they have a solid backing. It's just those translucent ones. Barbara's asking what setting your iron is on. So my setting, my iron is just <laughs> under the cotton setting. Oh, and I started to tell you about that infrared thermometer. Um, it's just a laser, is it a laser? Temperature gauge. Well, it has a laser on it usually okay. it's so you know where you're taking a measurement okay. from. So it's, um, they're like 20 bucks. You can get really expensive ones, you can get cheap ones, but you can get on, on Amazon, um, car parts stores, the hardware store. Harbor Freight Tools. Yeah, Harbor Freight has a good cheap one. So you can just pull that trigger for the temperature and it'll tell you what your iron is at. And if you're using a home iron and doing quite a bit of heat transfer vinyl, I would totally recommend getting one of those because your iron will go in cycles. So as it's heating up to temperature, it goes super hot and then it'll get back down to temperature. It goes in cycles. So it'll drop back down and the temperature will drop. And it does that quite a bit where a heat press is just a constant 305 or wherever you set it, just a constant heat. It doesn't go up and down in the big cycles like that. So, um, I wanted to show you this fun board Starla made. She painted different colors underneath so you could see how that color changes. So if you put purple underneath the pink, it's gonna pull purple through, which you can make really fun, pretty colors. Um, if you put orange underneath it, it's gonna pull like a corally color. And then of course the orange down here, the orange can pull a blue through. So if you want to change the color of your vinyl, it can be super fun. I made this shirt um, with different easy weeds behind it just to show all the crazy colors that it can turn. So if you want it to do that, it's super fun. Let's see. Reading your comments. Ooh, custom orders. Oh, thank you, Starla. Put the link for the sample kits. I love these sample kits. So let's get up close of all the different glitter colors. If you guys want me to compare some colors, if you've been seeing them online and you're like, oh, I wonder how that compares, let me know. I've got the sample kit right here. I can show you the different colors. So Barbara's asking, do you recommend to heat from the inside of the shirt to help vinyl adhere and last longer? I've seen others recommend, but didn't know if that was advised by expressions. It depends on how thick your vinyl is and how thick your shirt is. Glitter is fine. We don't need to heat it from both sides. The brick, the Caesar brick vinyl is thicker and it's not a bad idea to press that from the other side as well. Um, but you wanna be careful not to overheat your vinyl. So you can actually damage the heat in your vinyl. A lot of people think, oh, the hotter the better, the longer the better that will actually ruin the adhesive and it won't stick at all. So you can overheat it. So just be careful if you are pressing from the inside, you don't wanna do that. Is there any other questions? Um, there's a question about, well, a couple questions about samples. Where do you get those samples? Okay. Uh, I think Starla posted a link earlier on where to get those. They are on our website, but also I have the samples and sometimes new colors come out. Can I get new colors without buying a new sample kit? Yes, so that is something we're trying to figure out how to address the best. Um, if they, if you've bought your sample kit like very recently and then the next Tuesday we, like you bought it Friday and then the next Tuesday we put out a sample kit, we can get you one. Um, we can usually throw them in your next order. If it's been like a year, um, it's so hard to go back and, and dig up those samples. So. Buying a new one, unfortunately, is the best way to do it. Yeah. We are trying to figure out how to do that because um, 
You know, sometimes they release one or two colors a year and it's just, you don't wanna buy a whole thing for that. So we are working on that. So these are called sample kits. That's the glitter one. I do have an easy weed one here, but we have them for all the lines of vinyl that we carry. And they're so handy if you wanna compare colors, if you wanna match stuff up. But that translucent, this is a video I've been wanting to do forever because that translucent um, is just, it's kind of a funky one and it's one that people don't, you know, they're just picking out the color and they don't realize that if you put that on black, it is gonna change it quite a bit. So Carla's asking, how do you avoid overheating? I'm definitely longer, hotter, the better type of person. <laughs> so look at your temperatures. Caesar Glitter likes 325 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds. Now Caesar Easy Weed is 305 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. So it likes a cooler temperature. So just look at the instructions or look at the heat instructions for your material and then just put on a timer or something. So like when we're layering, I did this first one for five and then we did this next one for five, but I was over the pink. So that means I did the pink for 10 and there is some leeway. Like if I were to heat this whole thing for 30 seconds, it's gonna be fine. But if I heat it for a minute and 30 seconds, that's where my issues are gonna come in. So just go in like five to 10 um, second increments and just keep track You'll have to do a little math, but keep track of how much heat it's had. And get get one of those thermometers so you can check how hot your press or your iron is. Yes, and not all presses are made equal. Um, the more expensive, the better and tighter and stuff the coils are, like the Caesar heat presses we have, they are so consistent. Like we have tested and tested and Tried to mess them up and they're just really consistent. I mean, they'll fluctuate a couple degrees, but that's not going to mess anything up. It's when you're like 50 degrees over. Um, if you're using a Cricut Easy Press, I also recommend one of those infrared thermometers. Um, Cricut is going to tell you that they won't like warranty it. I'm not exactly sure that I need to do more research on that, but um, it's a great way to test how hot you actually are. Those, ours that we have at the warehouse, the Cricut Easy Presses that we have at the warehouse, run a little cool. So you might actually might not be giving it enough heat. So it just depends on, on what you're using, where you're at. Okay. Jessica's asking, and glitter always has to be on top when layering, correct? Yes, so you do always want the glitter to be on top. The reason for that is, let's get up close, this glitter has a texture to it. So if you put something smooth over top of that, if you were to put Easy Weed over top of that, it still can get water, like when you wash it, it's still gonna get water and stuff in between that texture and it's gonna make it peel off. Now, you can get it to work. If you're putting it on something that's not gonna get washed, like a, a wooden board for decoration, layer it up, it doesn't matter because you're not throwing it in the washing machine. But if you're putting on a shirt that is gonna get washed all the time, you wanna make sure you have a nice smooth layer um, between the layers. So easy weed, nice and smooth. You can layer that all day long, but just make sure you have that glitter on the top. What is the best temperature when combining HTV and glitter, HTV glitter Ooh. and the easy weed for a shirt? Not yes. layering on top of each other, but in the same design. Right. That is a great question. So if I were to put some, um, easy weed, like around this, like if I had a box around it or it's going in between the letters or whatever, I would do the glitter first and then peel off those carrier sheets and just do the glitter for like five seconds at a time at 325. Let your item cool down um, or your heat press, or you could go down. So if you were to do the glitter at like 310, it's gonna be fine. You just need to press it for a little bit longer, which when you're layering, you're gonna do anyway. So press this for like five seconds um, and then put your easy weed on top Press that for five seconds, peel off all your carrier sheets, and then do the full thing with a cover sheet for like another 10 seconds. So just kind of go in between those um, times. And you, it's so hard because you want to make sure you get, you do get enough time on it, just not too much. But if you're going over like five or 10 seconds, it's not that big of a deal. It's not going to ruin it. So just do your first layer, like, if I were gonna layer, I wouldn't press this whole thing for the full time on the glitter and then press the full time for the easy weed. That's gonna get you too much heat. Um, 
So do this for like five seconds, do the easy weave for five seconds, and then do the whole thing for like another 10 seconds. You'll be good. I say it's hard. It's really not that hard. You just really have to pay attention to your layers and how much time they've had. Uh, Kimmy says, I melted vinyl for the first time today. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, okay. So that's a good thing too. I want to show you this, a little trick. So if you are putting, we'll put a little, let's see, we'll put a little star right here. Oh, I should have put a star for the eye. We'll add some more stars so that doesn't look weird. Okay, so I am going to cover up this raw vinyl. So if you press this, and I don't know where my temperature is at now, but I want to show you the carrier sheet after we press this. I'm going to leave it on there for a little bit longer than I normally would. So my carrier sheet here is still nice and flat and smooth. I'm going to crank up my iron. I don't know if I can get this to work for you guys, but I'm going to try my best. So my carrier sheet still like, it's a little wrinkly, but not bad. Where did I put? Oh, here's my stars. Okay, I've cranked my iron up really hot. I don't recommend this. This is just because I want to show you guys what could go wrong. Just slide here. You're not on your there you go. Put on my pillow. Okay, I put my iron to the hottest. It can go. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get this to work. I don't know if I can for sure. But if your um, your carrier sheet can tell you if your iron or your heat press is too hot. If it's had too much heat, it'll just shrink up. Like that plastic sheet will just melt away. I'm not gonna be able to get it to do it because I want to. <laughs> I'm gonna do it directly. Yeah, it's not gonna do it for me. But anyway, if you put on a put on your heat transfer vinyl and your carrier sheet just like ugh, goes curly and shrinky and really like um just is weird like disfigures i guess i can't think of the right word but um that means your iron is way too hot you've got to turn it down a little bit because it should still just be nice and flat and it'll curl up a little bit from the heat but it's not going to curl up a whole ton so if your carrier sheet is doing that Turn your iron down a little bit. Also, if you're layering and don't make sure everything is covered with carrier sheet or... Yeah. Yeah. Like when I did that. this one, I was only hitting that part. You never want to hit this uncovered vinyl with an iron because right. that will melt it and that would be a sad day. So, um... I want to talk a little bit about mystery boxes. I just want to thank you guys. You're sold out, which is so awesome. I don't want to talk a whole lot about it in case you missed it. I don't want to make you feel bad, but incredible. Like we were super excited. We did not think they were going to sell out. We were hoping to go till July 4th. We didn't make it. So thank you. Thank you. If you ordered those, I'm super excited. We are going to do it again in September. Get on that list. If you want one, um, if you want to be on the list for the pre-sale of those. So don't forget glitter is on sale 20% off with the code glitter everywhere this is adhesive glitter this is heat transfer glitter any glitter glitter sample kits if you want to go get some sample kits those you can use this 20% off on as well um if you left a comment and we missed it we will go back and read these I will go back and answer them so Oh, okay, Nancy answered my question. She says, you can't test the easy press with an infrared thermometer properly because the light reflects back from the aluminum base. That explains why. Does that make sense to you? No. Okay. <laughs> that, I mean, that's an answer. So that makes, I mean, that's good. I didn't know why you couldn't do it before. So, but that's what Cricut tells people. So right. they don't want you testing it with that. Um, so go back to the mystery boxes for just a second. Yes. Uh, if they go to the page slash mystery. Okay. Yeah. Then they can get on an email list to be notified of the next ones first. Okay. So if you don't know what the mystery boxes were, 
It's, or are, they haven't even shipped out yet. There, um, we have an HTV box, an adhesive box, and a mix box. You guys don't know what's in it. The mix box is a super great value. They're all great value, but that one's super great value. And you got free shipping on that. So we did a pre-sale. We were hoping to pre-sale until July 4th. They're already all sold out. Um, and then we're shipping them on July 8th. So super excited to ship those out and see what you guys think of them. But if you want, if you missed this one and you want to be on the next one, go to www.expressionsvinyl.com slash mystery. And it'll pop up a thing. You can put your email address in and then we will email you first the next time we do a pre-sale, which will be in September. So we're gearing up for that one. Um, we're going to plan on some more boxes. So we have enough for everybody. Hopefully we thought we had enough for everybody this time, but you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you for all those. It's fun to see it's sometimes it's hard for us, um, to compete, you know, up until like a year ago, there wasn't really a whole lot of vinyl in, in stores in Michael's and now Michael's has a whole long aisle and it's getting tough for us to compete. So thank you for showing up for that. There, we're back on now. Okay. Looks like we lost you guys for a minute, but um, yeah, there we are. Okay, so go to expressionsvinyl.com, get your glitter if you need some. Um, I hope you're all having fun prepping for the fourth next week. And we will see you next Tuesday for Newsday Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.